So in this video, we are going to quickly learn about two eponymous crystals. They are called Charcot Boscher and Rienke crystals. Okay. These two are basically eponyms, so we'll just have a look at the origin of these two names. Charcot Boscher has the names of two scientists. One is Charcot. Charcot is a French neurologist and anatomic pathologist. And uh, you may come across the name, uh, eponymous names related to Charcot, with, related to so many diseases and pathological bodies. For example, you have Charcot, Mary Tooth disease or Charcot's disease, Charcot's joints, Charcot-laden crystals. So, so many eponyms are there related to Charcot. And this is Boscher. Boscher is uh, a, a Baltic German pathologist. And this is Reinke. Reinke is a German anatomist. And Reinke crystals uh, should be differentiated from other eponymous names which has Reinke. For example, you have Reinke's edema, uh, which you find in uh, Reinke space. Okay, these two are uh, terms that are related to the larynx. Okay, to, to the vocal cord. So, so these two terms are ones that you will learn uh, in ENT. Okay, so Reinke crystals are related to the testis. Okay, so where are these two lo located? We'll have a look at the basic histology. You know that in the testis, you basically have a lot of seminiferous tubules. And within the seminiferous tubules, suppose these are the cut sections of seminiferous tubules. Within the seminiferous tubules, you have uh, cells that are lying from the base to the lumen. And these cells are called Sertoli cells, right? Okay, these are called Sertoli cells. I have another video showing the Sertoli cells. And uh, embedded within the walls of Sertoli cells, you have the spermatogenic cell lines. That includes the spermatogonia, the primary and the secondary spermatocytes, uh, the spermatids, as well as finally the spermatozoan. Okay, all these are the spermatogenic cell lines. So these are the Sertoli cells. Now, between these Sertoli, between these seminiferous tubules, all these spaces are called interstitium. And within the interstitium, you have clumps of cells. These are not usually these large, but I am drawing this a little bit large to show these crystals, to show the location of the crystals. So you will have single or usually clumps of cells and these cells are called interstitial cells because they are located in the interstitium between the seminiferous tubules. So these are called interstitial cells of Leydig. These are called Leydig cells and these are called Sertoli cells. So the charcot boscher crystalloids are found in the Sertoli cells. Okay, they are found as crystals in the Sertoli cells, in, especially in the basal aspects of Sertoli cells. Whereas the Reinke crystals are located in the interstitial cells of Leydig. Okay, you usually have a moderate or uh, a moderately sized a numerous number of Reinke crystals found in the Leydig cells. So you can remember these with the mnemonics that the Charcot Boscher is found in Sertoli cells. You can remember it with CBS and you can remember Reinke crystals are found in Leydig cells. Uh, RL is uh, Ringer lactate. Okay, these two are mnemonics that may be useful. You may use these uh, to remember that Charcot Boscher is in Sertoli and Reinke is in Leydig cells. Now we'll have a look at these in the electron microscopy. Uh, so these are the Charcot Boscher crystalloids. You can see uh, these are basically aggregates of small filamentous structures and these are called Charcot Boscher crystalloids and they usually uh, you can see the cytoplasm merging with the crystalloids over here in these arrows. Okay, so these are the Sertoli cells. Sertoli cell cytoplasms. Whereas in Reinke, uh, Reinke crystals, you usually have a numerous number of Reinke crystals. These all are Reinke crystals. You usually have numerous numbers and these are basically crystalloids, but these usually have, uh, you have crystallization lines. You can see lattice formation, crystallization lines along uh, these lines are uh, called crystallization lines. So there are a clear lattice formation of structures in the forming the Reinke crystals. So pathologically, you need to know that Reinke crystals can be found as they are found in Leydig cells. They can be found in a Leydig cell tumor uh, found uh, related to the testis. And charcot boscher crystalloids can be found in Sertoli cell tumor because these are found in Sertoli cells. So that is a pathological importance. So these two can be considered also as pathological bodies that can be found in tumors. Thank you.